Tanaka, who of course is their best pitcher. Of course. And arguably their best player right now, comes out of the gate very weak. Yeah. Had a terrible uh, opening day yeah, that was pretty against bad. Tampa. Oof, uh. So now the rhetoric is now, hey, by the way, you know, Tanaka's contract allows him to opt out after the year. If he opts out, we're not making him an offer. He's done. He's dead to us. Now, why is that? Why would that be a story three games into the season? What Yankee executive wanted Tanaka's people to know after one start? Don't even think about opting out nine months from now. It makes no sense. It would be it would be wrong for me to to speculate about names, but I think their initials are Randy Levine. Possibly. Because right? we, we've seen the way he treats players. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. Like if, if he goes twenty seven and one and opts out, guess what? The Yankees are paying him to come back. Uh, you know, I don't know why you ever get into that back and forth at this, I, at this point of the season. I agree. It makes no sense. Do it quietly. To be out there. You could go to him and say quietly, hey, you know, we well, really don't want you to opt out. Go to his agent and say, we, before he says anything about opting out, make sure you come and talk well, to us first. Why would you do that after one start? He, let's say he threw a no-hitter. Well, maybe it's a positive. No, nah, it makes no sense. No? It doesn't. And then, no? So now I start worrying about if there, if there are Yankee executives that today are worried about Tanaka's contract, that's a problem. Yeah. I would worry about Tanaka's performance, and everything else takes care of itself. Now, if you want to let the agent know, good or bad, if he opts out, we're not going to sign him for more money. So good luck to you. That's fine. I get it. But for that story to come out yesterday, I, I don't. I do not get it one little bit, and it tells me that there's a problem now with Tanaka and the Yankees. How can there be a problem, problem in Yankee Land? Fixed. Yankee Land is the perfect place, according and I mean, to you. Typically, is the perfect place. How, how is that possible? Compared, How's it possible compared that the, to the Mets. Well, listen. You know, the bottom line is it's because you know the the Mets are are the team of New York now. They're not, as we know from that Quinnipiac poll. They are not. Oh, we uh, you know. The numbers are, are the not. numbers. The, the numbers the, are the Mets are the team in New York. They have the more interesting players. They have the more dynamic players. No, they don't. They absolutely do. If you want to go through it, and we, I'll go through it again, the New York Mets are a better overall team than the Yankees. I'd have to say yes to that. By far. Not by far. By a lot. Not by far. How's Gary Sanchez doing I mean, you so have, far? You, it's starting pitching. You got one how, how is AL MVP designated he's by you, Gary a, Sanchez, doing so he's far? He's having a tough time. Well, that's true. After How's Jose games, Reyes doing? Uh, uh, nobody's figuring that Jose Reyes was going to be the MVP. Pretty much the same way, right? Uh, yeah. They've well, only yeah. one hit. 